All right, guys, here is our 1984 Porsche 911 Targa with only 90,000 miles. This car has such low miles because it was primarily sitting in the guy's barn for many, many years. He was in Stockton, he was a farmer, and he bought the car sometime in the 90s. Owned it ever since, but he let it sit. And after he let it sit, he took it out a few years ago, took it to his mechanic. They went through the motor, they made sure you know everything was straightened up there, and uh, they went through a few of the oil leaks and fixed those. And then he painted it back in its original color, which was ruby red metallic. This thing in the sun shines very, very well. The paint quality, of course, it could have been better. He could have taken it to a paint shop that stripped it completely down. But it's okay. It is what it is. It's got, you know, a little bit of overspray here and there and a few imperfections if you look at it. But overall, it does the job. It looks good. Not to be a show car, but to be a nice driver. So we'll be showing you every inch of this. We'll be showing you every inch of this car here in this video. And then you guys can take it from there and check it all out in person if you like. So as you guys can tell, the paint is like a mirror. It's got a very nice gloss to it. The body's very straight. No sign of any accidents that I've noticed. I haven't seen any rust on this car whatsoever. Monterey is going to be cloudy for the next few days. I really wish it was sunny because it would show the car much, much better. This paint in the sun looks a lot better than it does in the shade. All right, let's go through this gorgeous two-tone interior. You rarely see this color combination on a Porsche. It's very unique. Obviously, white is a very hard color to keep up with, and if it gets worn out, it shows very fast. The dash has no cracks. It only has 90,000 miles. 
the seats don't technically have any rips, but they just have, I don't know what to call it, wear and tear. I think if it was black, you probably wouldn't be able to tell, but since it's white, it shows everything. 1984, the carpets are all very clean. It's got the original mats. No funky wearing on the bottom. Center console's in good shape. Again, the seats don't technically have a rip. They just have wear and tear, mostly on the driver's seat. I don't know if someone can get these recolored or just, you know, replace. It's up to you. Or just drive it the way it is. So again, dash, very nice. Got the original radio. The carpeting is all very clean. Center console is nice. All right, let's go through the front trunk. I'll take everything out and show you guys underneath it too. All right guys, so in here you'll see there's no rust or anything that's always been here. And dry climates, that's the original color. You see it in there. No sign of accidents. The name of this color is right there. It's a urban meca metallic, very unique color. I've never seen anything like it. So this car fires right up. After it came out of storage, they took it to a mechanic shop. They got whatever was leaking fixed and it fires right up. It doesn't smoke excessively. It doesn't make any strange noises. This motor sounds beautiful. No excessive leaking. We'll show you underneath the car in a bit. 3.2 liters. Ninety thousand miles on this car, which is very low. So this car runs and drives excellent. I drove it about two and a half hours, three hours back home. All our gauges, to my knowledge, seem to be operating, including the odometer gauge. It shifts smoothly through all gears. The motor has good power. I would feel comfortable driving this car anywhere. All right, guys, let's go through the motor. 